Hello again everybody, Sebastian Keynes here with another Watch Our Rooms video. Here we are after the update. They did the most significant thing that they added was the new stages to AMR. So we have 19, 20, 21, and 22. 20 and 22 are going to be the same. It's just 22 is a lot tougher. And as you can see, we get a little bit more drops uh, from uh, 20. 19, same as 21, but we're going to get a little bit more drops on 21. Now, um, I'm actually I can I can just give you a quick overview of what the map info looks like here in terms of how things are set up so the the uh, the grand necropolis is going to come out here in the corner and now it's a little bit different because he'll actually now sacrifice some HP some health points to spawn off all these units coming at you but they threw a little wrinkle into this so 19 and 21 are going to be fighter tank stages 20 and 22 are primarily going to be maybe some fighters that can tank but i rely mostly on my tanks defenders and mages aoe damage dealers so let me now make this disappear and let me show you the clips that i collected of my first try beating this so let's play 21 or uh, let's play 19 here as you can see yes it is a dirty roster so this is just the preview if you're looking for guides we'll try to work some out that are a little bit more free to friendly if free, free to play friendly if i do have um if we, if if i do manage to to figure out some but i'm bringing in nightmare composition i'm also bringing in my northern composition so let's play this one here all right so the one thing because i want you to keep in mind because in 20 we're going to have to pre prepare for it so here when i select a ground unit you're going to see all the platform available to us so i'm going to pause it right here now you can see all these are available to us you can already tell that given that these are long maps one hero that is going to be very good for this ardia no question about it all right so get your ideas ready and anybody that has a very long range uh emirate yes he's going to come in in this as well just make sure you bring in a tank so that's essentially what i decided to do is i'm going to put like my tanky fighters or tanks right in front so that's um that's what i'm going to do Volk is going to be on the bottom to try to help out, take down some of these units, and at the same time, I'm having as much um, as much damage as I can here before any one of these is able to pass. So here with Talon, I'm just you know just smashing them. Let's just go. I am bringing in Elowen. She's going to be my healer. That's the only platform that we have here have here for 19 and 21. And so what I decided to do for this one is I was going to use Torador because he does have the one tile extension. But at the same time, I'm going to bring in my tanky Abomination. That's right. We are going to use Abomination. Torador is going to help out to make sure that nothing slips by. Now, you can see the boss. is just, he is smashing. Those are big hits. We are getting damage. There's no question in that. But notice he's losing health as he's releasing these minions so that's exactly it. so here on the top here look at the top these two are doing enough and Elohim is helping them out so you can see the boss is already down to a significant level after releasing all these units so again he's going to be sending out everybody that he can So I think I just decided to help Abomination a little bit there. Just make sure that he can get a little bit of health before this monster came right at us. So here, again, do balancing HP. We're trying to stay alive at the same time doing some damage. Elder is certainly helping in the cost. Talon is doing as much as he can. Volka is managing as much as he can. So here we go. Abomination is trying to stay up top of things, trying to damage enough of them. Now, here's the thing that I've been noticed, and, and according to the manual, this does apply it too. If we don't kill these fellas here, and then he does his smash, and he does it himself, that's where those attacks come in. These are where he gains those attacks, and then he gains health as well. So 
you have to you have to make sure that you try to eliminate all these little uh, minions that he releases. Otherwise, he gains them in stacks. Now, the other thing too is try to make sure that when he comes at you that you have enough firepower to bring him down right away because if you let him execute his ground smash it's going to be devastating you better have a lot of better be tanky and have a lot of protection shields is going to come into play so here i'm trying to help out as much as i can and i'm getting ready just in case he does decide to go his smash but right now i'm just get, hoping the talon and volka do enough damage to bring him down and in case he does maybe i can put um i can put oleg and then valeria down to finish him up but you can see here that's how i cleared this one and now we're going to go on to the next amr 20. now here's what surprised me on amr 20 when i saw the suggested heroes and they were like you're gonna need mages and i was like okay all right let's bring my mages in given that we have a long map guess what i'm gonna bring in dahlia ingrid people hey you be happy you have a pve content where you can use her now she, she's gonna be melting those things there's no question that so i went with my cultist bierna hollow demi uh demi is mostly because of the lore bonus but if in case i do need her maybe she can slow things down for me you're gonna see the real reason why i brought in pelagius because i needed somebody to finish the boss for me that's essentially what it was while holding people up i think the people are going to cheese this with silas the last bit of it the silas is going to come into me i don't have him in this account but then you can see that i also have uh, i have Prettius, but i actually decided for this situation i'm going to use him on top to help out my tank so the idea here is the same. He is going to be sacrificing HP while he releases all this stuff that's coming at us. And we're talking about a good amount of uh, units coming at us. So your tanks better have Bastion Rings. You're going to need as much block as possible. And that is why I brought Evelyn, because she has that extra block. Trusk. Why do I like Trusk for this? Because he can do damage. He's a very good damage dealer, and we put him in the Bastion Ring. He will also get uh, some extra block as well. I am not hesitant enough. Bierna. We know what Bierna can do. If she uh, brings those minions to below 30%, she can finish him off. And we don't then have to worry about him getting stacks because we are eliminating these units as fast as we can. So here again, my head is covering Dahlia. I do apologize for that. But that's that is where we are in terms of this preview here. Let me let me, um I would be covering the boss if I do. Let me move over here. If maybe that doesn't bother people too much. Or here. Um I'm going to kick that play. You guys can watch the gameplay there. Let me... Here, let me switch sides. And I'm going to go up top here. I, I hope that, that kind of clears up um, a little bit of the screen for you. You just you, you can see what it is that I'm doing. All, all you're going to see coming um, out of uh, the top here are going to be um, minions or demon soldiers coming uh, out here. So... You're not missing much from me covering here that part of the screen. Now, you can see here the boss is here uh, in the, in the right-hand corner. He's going to be doing his damage. And now uh, we have to contend with the fact that we have all these uh, demon soldiers coming at us. So I'm trying to time as much as I can. Number one, I'm keeping an eye on, on the top to make sure that I activate Prairie's ultimate when it's ready so he can get eliminate as many people as possible and not have Oleg be overwhelmed. And in here in the bottom, I was timing Vierna as much as I could uh, to make sure that I optimize her ultimate as much as I could. So you here, here right below me, you're going to see these two little soldiers coming out. Um, so there, right there, they're coming out. So you can kind of notice that. But again, here, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle, trying to figure out. We're trying to time Bierna's ultimate. And that's where exactly what I'm going to focus on. And... Now I'm going to prep. So he gained a little bit of health because we didn't take out anybody. And he gained some stacks of attack. Okay, so now, here's the thing that I decided to do. I'm going to take 
L went out because I have enough of a trust, the Prairies, and all I can handle at the top. And I brought in Pelagius. Pelagius has the Radiant Erosion, Magic Damage, and he has his Vortex. He can do enough damage, hopefully for this, is what my hope was. At the same time that I could get maybe Trust to do some damage and then activate Dahlia's here ultimate to try to bring him down as quickly as possible with the Flowers. And I'm also going to use um, Ultimates as much as I can here. And this is a race against time right now. Uh, because if he does his smash, everybody's done for. There's no way, and I have no backup units here. So yeah, you're gonna have a race. You're gonna have to make sure you bring him down before he does his smash, and that is 20. That is essentially what you're going to have to contend with when uh, you try to tackle it. And again, like I said, tw uh, 21 and 22 are going to be the same. So be ready for that, uh, and you are going to. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough. It, it, this wasn't simple. There was some regearing that I had to do and make sure that there were some attack points there. Now in 19 and 20, I just have to figure out if there are faster ways to farm it. But when it comes to 21 and then 22, yes, um, I'm going to need a little bit more firepower. There's no question in that to make sure that I can clear this. And I'm going to have to change this lineup because these uh, these are this is the fighter map. This is not. So I can see here some of my uh, my uh, forerunner uh, playmates. They have already done a good job clearing it. You can kind of get an idea of what the rosters that they're using. Of course, yes, if it is dirty, it is going to be dirty. So you use your powerful heroes as much as I can. Again, this is end game content. All right. So don't don't fret too much. Um, I do think that the the um that is going to only one no chance okay so no chance uh, so again ardia like i said is going to be very good for this you can see units here that do aoe damage there is silas to finish the boss at the end because we have all the platforms available we know what greed can do we know what emmer can do and broker is the tank and again big big damage dealers here so that is a preview, folks. That is AMR 19, 20, 21, 22. And of course, now all the guides are going to come out to try to make this as free to play as possible. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. Hit like and subscribe for more Forerunner stuff in the future. And I will see you all in the next Watch Your Realms video. Kill the soul, reanimate the body. Oh, mine to take.